Women Development Network in partnership with the International Republican Institute and Kim Park Development Initiative has urged the federal government and the state government to see the need to include women in Nigerian politics. The group executive director of Kim Park Development Initiative, Bukola Ido, made this call in Abuja during the CSO's political party roundtable on women's political participation in Nigeria. We also have conversations that we can also take them um, uh, as intervention strategy from, um, uh, uh, from here to our various states and within our network and within our sphere of influence and uh, within the political party and most especially how can civil society and political party work together to actually increase women uh, political participation that even at the executive in most of the appointed position we hope to see more women uh, coming in. And I want to say that uh, it's not a it's not a hundred meter cash that we will get there. It's like a marathon that we have to be uh, engaging and gradually we believe we will get there. The group executive director Kim Park Development Initiative, Bukolai Dowu, or other stakeholders who spoke at the event stated the need for deliberate coordination of intervention on gender equality. While the democracy is being entrenched, I think uh, special attention must be paid to the issues of inclusivity because democracy uh, speaks all about participation. And you cannot talk of effective participation when a half or more than a half of the population are excluded in the process. And that's why, for me, um, if we want to evaluate the 2023 general election, uh, I think the indicator that will probably get the worst score is that of women representation. Uh, Mr. Pogola just mentioned the fact that we have three we have three women in the Senate. We are not even talking of marginal increase. We are even talking of abysmal, abysmal performance. From eight, we have gone to three. We, we need to sit back at some point, do a reflection on maybe the approach, right? Um, maybe there is need to look at the methodology. And maybe there's a need to look at the, the, the strategy. Perhaps there is something missing that we are not looking at. The importance of media have not been overemphasized. And I think that um, we don't, women don't, don't use the tool of media as they should. The media, we're not keen into the media enough, and the media is also not keen into the cause enough. And so we have um, short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals to ensure that the media, we are, we are collaborating with the media, we're joining hands with the media to, to um, spur behavioral change communication so that we, the people in the community, the leaders, and all of that, know the women that are doing great things in their community and support them. Women constitute up to 49% of Nigeria's population. That is to say that we can leverage on the numerical strength of women can begin to harmonize and leverage on their numerical strength to build up support for women in politics. Within ourselves, we can begin to come together. Women organizations, yes, we've been talking about within our country. We can also need the help of the media to amplify the voices of women in politics. Women have brought value, you know, to politics, so we leadership. We need the media to project it further. We should have positive portrayals of women in politics and leadership. That can help us, you know, to further our Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.